Hey, what's going on guys? Tim here again. Back at you with another stitching tutorial. So we're revisiting the Solomon's Dragon, the stitched Solomon's Dragon. Now we're adding uh, another element to it, and there it is. So we're adding this uh, sort of side stitching here onto the um, Solomon's stitched Solomon's Dragon we did before. And um, it's a minor change, but man, does it make a big difference. I mean, that looks really cool, right? So um, yeah, this one's not too hard actually. You can actually add this side stitching to any sort of a Cobra, Cobra knot bracelet. It'll uh, have the same effect. You'll get this nice accent down the side. But I think it's especially effective with the uh, Solomon's Dragon here because of got that additional white or additional stitching down the center. All right. So that's what we're doing in this one. Guys, remember if you're looking for any materials and paracord and tools that I use in this video, check out my Amazon affiliate links because uh, those really uh, are helping this channel survive and go on to do more. All right, so check those out when you can. And of course, all related tutorials will be annotated in the video. So that being said, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so I've got my uh, stitched Solomon's Dragon here, and I'm just using the one I from my pre-existing tutorial. So you can check that out if you haven't uh, done this one before. Got some micro cord attached to uh, my FID here, the smallest FID, about four feet or so. Probably gonna use uh, about four feet. So we're gonna actually be working on the underside of the bracelet. So uh, let's start back here. I'm going to uh, anchor my micro cord just under a couple, of, let's do this one, under a couple of uh, knots here, okay? That's the back of the bracelet. So let's pull this through, get the majority of our cord through. Okay. There we go, and that's good. Now, uh, let's see, where do we wanna go? Let's go, uh, let's put our accent on uh, here, okay? We'll start here, and it's gonna follow these outer knots. Okay, so let's go through this top knot first here. Pull everything through. Now, it's going to follow basically like that. Okay, it's going to go here. So let's go through this next knot on the side. Pull all that through. Like so. And now at this point, it's actually quite simple. Um, do you see this uh, cord here? Where you're essentially following the lead strand on the back going through these ones, right? So you're following here like that. Okay, so you can see our accent on this side, right? It's gonna look like that. Now we go to this side. So let's move it over here. We're going to go through this knot here. I'm sorry, I'm not on, not in the center of frame there. Sometimes I got to look around the, the view screen just to see what I'm doing. Okay, so there's one. So it's again, it's going to follow there. So now we go through this one here. It's going to line up there. <clears throat> now you're going to go back, back through this one, okay? Back through this one, go through there. And then we're going to go through this one here on this side. As you can see the pattern we're kind of forming here. It's just kind of going like this, like from here to there to there. So it's kind of doing like almost like figure eights. Okay, so let's go through this next one. It's looking good. <clears throat> then moving on to the next. And this is pretty much the pattern. It's quite easy. Um, just gonna make sure you go on the right knots. So next one goes here, 
I'm going to turn the, um, the whole bracing around in a sec just to show you what we're achieving. Okay, so that's the beginning of it. And when you look at it, boom. That's nice. Okay, so we now have this nice little side stitch, as the name would uh, you know imply, there. And it adds a really nice effect to this already um, stitched Solomon's Dragon. Okay, so I'm going to continue uh, doing that. Continue with... Uh, my pattern, just working down my bracelet, and then uh, when we get to the end, we can secure our cord, and we'll be done. All right, so I'm pretty much done, and uh, to finish it off, I'm going to go through this last little knot here, and at this point, you just need to anchor it wherever you can. Maybe we can get this last one. Uh, that might be a little hard. Let's just um, bring it through here. Just gonna go through this last knot here. Oh, we went under that micro cord. That's okay. That should be okay. So let's pull it shut. Okay, now well, that works out. Um, now, at this point, you can just figure out wherever you want to anchor it. I'm just gonna put it through this last piece of red here. If I don't stab through it, it's a, one of the most annoying things. Okay, that's okay. Let's maybe not go through the white. There we go. Okay. And there. I'm just going to cut off the excess there, melt whatever I can, and we're done. Okay, and there we have it. We are finished. That looks nice. So. Yeah, we just did that one little extra step, you know, that little extra stitching really does change the whole effect on this bracelet. Just really, really nice. And definitely, guys, try a bunch of different combinations. I'd suggest um, high contrast between the micro cord and your main weaving strands because you want that accent to really pop out at you. You can even do like a solid color. Um, you don't even say, for example, this red accent. You can make that gray as well or the same color as your main weaving strands, and I think that would look excellent too. As long as you use a nice bright cord that um, you know gives you that uh, nice accent. Okay, so that is it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed making this one. Definitely going to be wearing this brace a lot more now because it looks so cool, and uh, the back looks pretty interesting too. But anyways, this is where the uh, the money is. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please do leave them down below. Let me know what you think. Also again, if you're looking for any materials and stuff I use in this video, do check out my uh, Amazon affiliate links, because every time you guys go through those links, you are helping out this channel greatly. Guys, thank you so much. See you on the next one.